What's the crack, lads? Welcome back. All right, no messing. Straight into a player of the week, right? Kevin De Bruyne, James Rodriguez, and we have a couple of more. Sobat? This guy, is that how you pronounce his name? Sobat? Sobat? Anyway, this guy is pretty decent, lads. This is Kevin De Bruyne. We spun. Now, I want to show you something, right? Real quick. Usually on the player of the weeks, you are able to spin three players and three players only. But obviously, if you use coins you will be able to get five with this because if you go out to the events and if you're a newcomer, you will obviously know this already. But what I would recommend you guys doing is going over to match straight away, going into the events, and then obviously just clearing the AI events here that you see. So you've got the national teams, which are here, and that's going to give you one free spin. And then you've also got the Spanish clubs, which is going to give you the second spin. You can literally just, you know, go on, put on watch Netflix, go and put on Netflix or whatever you want to do. Sim these games, either on beginner difficulty and just pass the ball back as you always do, or else just play on legend difficulty and, you know, jump in and jump out, which I think is quite cool in the game as well, right? But we're going to blitz through these player of the week selections because we did spin two we just wasted 200 coins but we wanted to get the brine we got him on our second spin we got bravo first these players man right i will start with the bottom layer the bottom row here right from uh, bernardo silva all the way rodriguez Senchenko. um and then we'll talk about the top layer here because Bravo and Araujo are definitely not going to be really there or thereabouts. Cross specialist, very, very rare, generic face. Cross specialists are becoming more rare now, but terrible balance, terrible type possession, low pass is quite poor. Even his lofted pass is quite poor. He's got some nice player skills, one touch pass, pinpoint crossing, but yeah, these are a dime a dozen, lads. There's so many players like this, cross specialists are kind of rare, but there's so many players that can just get the ball in. Plus, crossing at the moment, lads, is completely busted, in my opinion, right? It's even worse than passing, and we know how that is at the moment. Bravo is a goalkeeper, doesn't go past the 90s in only two stats, reflexes and awareness, obviously with reach and parry and that will go up as well depending on what uh, manager that you have, but he's just an average goalkeeper, 184 cm, I definitely think that the taller goalkeepers are better at the moment, he does have low punt but he doesn't have long throw, so I wouldn't even waste it on that unless you're starting off, and obviously we've got another centre back here, doesn't have really good aggression or speed for where you need it to be, it needs to be at least 80 um, for this, so again I would say yeah that the Austria, uh, the Austrian man uh, is not going to cut it, right? On to the two boys at the bottom here. Again, we've got a whole player, but it's a similar speed acceleration. Balance is quite poor. Low pass is poor. Ball control is okay. Loft to pass is quite poor as well as a whole player that can't play AMF or SS. It's it's a for me, but he does have super sub, soul control, double touch, and fighting spirit. Doesn't have flip flap. It's an okay card, fairly unique card with first time shot and acrobatic finishing. But yeah, those cards there, and also De Vries as well. Uh, Stefan De Vries there doesn't have the speed that you need. He doesn't even have seventy plus speed uh, without the boost. And also, he's only got standard form. He does have blocker interception area superiority, but he doesn't have acrobatic clearance, which is a bit of a pain as well. He does have good jumping and physical contact, but his heading is quite poor, right? So that's kind of the players that I wouldn't really recommend. The rest of the players that we're going to focus on here, including De Bruyne, and I'll throw a couple of clips over De Bruyne as well. I definitely think that De Bruyne is probably the best pick here. Um... In terms of who you're going to be going for. Now, I want to show you De Bruyne, what he looks like uh, in my squad at the moment, right? So we'll cover him last. But I think for the rest of the players here, including Julian Alvarez here, who's down as a goal poacher, centre forward, that can play centre, attacking RSS. Good speed, good acceleration, good balance, good tight possession, but not going to hit those heights of the best goal poachers in the game. He's kind of a mid-tier, uh, not at the upper tier, and then definitely not at the gold tier or the god tier, whatever way you want to call it. Rodriguez, a lot of people liking this guy, and obviously he's kind of had a bit of a uh, return to form, obviously with his national team over in the Cop America. He gets a booster here as a right winger. He's down as a prolific winger. Looks pretty decent. Doesn't have the kits in game. Tight possession is pretty decent. That's going to get the boost. Low pass and finishing are going to be above 85. Speed and acceleration and balance let this card down slightly, but he does have a cross and booster as well as long range curler, long range shooting, heel trick, one touch pass, true pass and pinpoint crossing and double touch. I think this card would have been really, really nice if he had um, pinpoint crossing, which he does have, and also if he had outside curler and if he had um, low lofted pass. If he had the two of those, outside curler and low lofted pass, I think he would have been better. He does have good player styles um, there as well, and he is the first booster that you see there. And then also, I want to talk about Rabiot, going through these quite quickly. Rabiot, we've had a couple of versions of uh, Rabiot. This is a fairly good card, man. You're talking about Rabiot as a box-to-box. -box. He's more a defensive box-to-box -box than anything, but he doesn't go over 80 without the boost from the manager, right? Interception area superiority, 
blah, 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 aerial superiority. Um, he's not going to have all of those there, right? Zinchenko, a lot of people rate this guy. I definitely don't think he's as good as some people like to use him in center midfield. I don't think he's as good as people let on. Um, but he kind of reminds me of Trent. That's who he kind of reminds me of. Very technical, very fast, although his speed isn't that, that uh, high. He does actually play a little bit better than this. Balance of stamina is quite good, and he's got good aggression. And player skills are very nice. One touch pass, weighted, true passing, low lofted, interception. Very, very nice, right? Now, on to the grand unveiling of that, of Bernardo Silva. Having a great tournament. Obviously, Portugal went down bad against Georgia the other night, but Silva is a fantastic player, lads. If it's like Silva's like 36 or 37. You think he's like Modric. He's been around for so long. What a player. I actually love him. I would have loved him at Manchester United, even though he's a city boy. But listen, ball control, dribbling, tight possession, and low pass, all going to be around the 90 mark. His aggression is what sets him apart. There is kind of a thing in the game that if you've got attackers that are really creative, have got really good dribbling, and also aggression, they will pick pockets of space for you to be able to win the ball back. Pedri is a great example of that. So if you're used to playing with Pedri, this guy is as close to that as possible as you will get, except even a bit slower, right? Very good booster, and of course, one touch pass, true pass and pinpoint, low, long range um, curler and shooting, but doesn't have low, lift, low lofted pass. I can't even speak, lads. Now, on to De Bruyne, right? I'm going to show you De Bruyne here with his booster, okay? He's got some nice skills, low lofted pass, true passing, pinpoint crossing. He doesn't have weighted pass, and he doesn't have, oh, he does a first time pa pass, uh, or one touch pass and first time shot, but he doesn't have um, long range curler, right? That's a bit of an issue with him, but it doesn't really make that much of a difference. Now, I'm just going to show you him in my squad. We played a lot of games today with De Bruyne, um, or yesterday in the stream, and this is what we had here. I think we have him, I think we had him playing kind of like as a single attacking midfielder, um, which was working out quite well. There he is there, right? 98 overall, that's going to go to 103 overall with Pep Guardiola. That's going to put your speed at 85 and his acceleration at 87. This is the first ever version of De Bruyne that's a whole player that also has 85 plus for his stamina, speed, acceleration, dribbling, and finishing. So it is a very unique card. I definitely think it's a really, really good card. I, as I said, I'll throw in a couple of like clips there or whatever. Um, as you see, the Brian is all about just having that ability to be able to link the ball. We were doing a couple of like meta, meta formations today and, and uh, you say meta, I say what's the meta? What's the meta with you? What's the meta with you? But anyway, lads, I don't know what's wrong with me. But anyway, Saviola, Griezmann, Son, all of these are going to be backed up by a creative player. And De Bruyne making really good runs. You'll see he just pops up in different pockets of space. Let me know what you guys think. If you get him in 500 spin, or sorry, 5 spins with 300 spent on coins, and then you get 2, two free ones as well, I think you've got like, what, a 40% chance of getting him? I think it's probably worth it for a very unique player that's going to have 360 plus days of a contract. 13 matches played, 2 goals, 3 assists. Very, very solid card. Actually has surprised me with how good he is and how good his movement is. And linking up with Griezmann was like... But that's it for me, lads. I will talk to you later. Don't forget to check out the rest of the channel. Subscribe, like, and I'll catch you in a bit. Peace.